Okay, so the question becomes, you wind up with a lot of dead laptop batteries, and what can you use these for? Do they have any use at all? Well, what I am going to do with them is I hot glued them together and made one of the bricks that I'm going to put together in order to start stacking them. Stack them seven high cells that I need. And I thought it might be nice to build a little box to set the cells in in order to put the uh, copper wire around connecting each one of these and make that one battery of a seven battery uh, or seven cells, individual cells of a battery, depending on your point of view. So I cut some pieces of wood and I'm going to try to build a little box here in order to contain that and they don't fit exactly square so there's a little bit of slop, looseness, hysteresis, uh, you pick the word you want, in order to be able to fit 16 cells inside this box in order to glue them and to solder them. So we will try to put these together now. Just see. This looks like a job for Norm. I don't know why I'm trying it. When I was much younger, my brother in laws would. be working on a carpentry project and I always would say is that how Norm does it? Well, probably not. Okay. Can't have enough glue. Before the boss gets oh. 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 see all the carpenters out there just cringing at this video. All right, what you got it in some symbols? Lots of paper towels. Got to do a job like this. Some semblance of a box. And got some glue on it. Get out of here, we don't need that anymore. Try to get some of this blue no stick tape around here it's all kind of loosey goosey right now But hey, you don't know until you try, right? Better to have tried and failed than not have to have tried at all. You don't regret what you tried and failed at. You just regret never trying. That was a very true statement. Maybe one more time, just to stiffen it up a little bit. This stuff is cheap. Looks 
actually not as cheap as it should be. some sort of a shape of a box here. I notice I put this on a piece of wax paper because I knew how bad I was going to be at this. You have to realize your limitations. Man's got to know his limitations. Okay, now let's take a little drill. that I build the whole the whole batteries are going to be based on something like this so this is good practice just like practicing on soldering before I Solder on a bunch of dead cells before you solder on a bunch of good cells. There we go. So we'll wait 24 hours, we'll take the tape off, and we should have a box that we can put our 18650s in and glue them together, solder them together, see how this all works out.